So today I have a tutorial for you guys and it's on the look that I'm wearing right now. I really wanted something that's purpley because I never do a purple look. And I think purples are so flattering to wear, especially if you have brown eyes. So that is why I came up with this look today. And I wanted something that's a little more sultry, a little more kind of like sexy. And I felt like it was nicer to wear this pop of purpley color with no lashes. I don't know. I'm kind of like debating and regretting and then no, I think I want to wear lashes. I don't know. So this is basically what I'm happy with. Um, just purple on the eyes, different techniques, how to layer different colors. And then I just wore like a really nice like stain on the lips just to keep it kind of low key. But yeah, I really like it so far and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you want to see how I create this look, then keep on watching. I am still in my PJs. I'm just gonna have a relaxing tutorial with you guys. Um, I don't know how relaxing it could be because I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I just know that I'm gonna be using some purples just because I don't think I've really done any tutorials with purple colors and I think purple looks really good on brown eyes. So let's see how that's gonna turn out. Um, I am still in my PJs because I did not want to change it to something and then get makeup all over it because I am that clumsy. So let's start and you know of course every single time I start I always put my hair up like this to lift the hair from the roots while I'm doing my makeup and then clip my bangs to the side. There you go. So I already put on some moisturizer and then I'm going to put on some lip balm. This is the 8 hour cream by Elizabeth Arden. I always want to say Estee Lauder. For some reason I guess I grew up with Estee Lauder and Elizabeth Arden and I couldn't tell the difference when I was younger. Huh. Alright so for the face I am going to pro actually should I prime? Let's do the eyes first, just because I think the eye is going to be messy. Alright, so for the eyes, I think I'm going to do a different technique today, where I'll probably do a really light color and a little darker on the sides. So I'm going to be putting these um, NYX Jumble Eye Pencils to use. So let's start out with the purple. I'm going to do the purple on these either two sides. Actually, this color is called Oh, oh, it's actually called purple. I want this look to be a little bit rounded. So... I feel like the inner corner is so much easier if you kind of lean your head back and, and kind of stretch your eyebrows up a little bit. Then we're going to leave that center place right there. This is just going to make our eyeshadow a little bit more pigmented. Okay, I'm going to pack on some Satin Taupe by MAC. It looks like this. It's like a taupey brown purpley color. I hope this is going to make that purple color a little bit more wearable. So I'm just packing it. Make sure you cover all of that base because that base is so purpley. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with a blending brush. Try to blend that out. It looks like a hot mess right now, you guys. But we'll try to make it work soon, okay? Next, I'm going to go in with the white eye pencil. I'm going to go right in the center. And with a cleaner finger, make sure you're not using that same finger. Kind of blend it out a little. This purple here, it's called Omen. And it's by Urban Decay. It's from their old palette. So right here, it has like an iridescent purple. By itself, it's already very light, but I think with this, it's gonna make it stand out. Just like that. Ooh, that's pretty. What 
whenever you're doing a look like this, you want to pack on that color and then you're going to go back in that with the whatever the darker color you use to go on the sides. Okay, that's looking pretty. And then I'm going to go back with that same buffing brush. Try to buff that out a little bit at the crease area. The reason why I use this satin taupe is because the blending is so pretty. Like, it really helps blend out the look. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a smaller, dense brush. I'm going to go in with a purpley color, and I might mix a little black into it, but I'm going to go with it by itself, and it's this color here by MAC called Indian Ink. It's a very soft matte. I'm going to go right in here to the outer corner. Just packing it on, kind of flicking it in to blend. And then again with that same blending brush, blend that out. And whatever we put over there, we want to put over here. I'm going to go in with a darker color with a um, more defined brush. So like a pencil brush. This already has black on it, so I'm just going to go straight in with black. I'm going to go in with the darkest black I have. Or should I use... Now I'm going to use just Blackout by um, Urban Decay. And it's very careful where you place this. So go towards the lash line first. And with black, you really want to add a little bit at a time. I'm gonna go in, and this is a trick that I always do to help blend and kind of make it go down a little bit for the coloring. And um, what I do is I go in with a powder and that's what I'm gonna go into the under, under the brows. So it helps blend down all of that crazy blending we did. So I'm using some Bioderm to clean up any fallouts, which I am sure we have. Yep, see? Next thing I'm gonna do is prime my face. I've been using this Le Blanc de Chanel just to test it out so I can review it for you guys. And look, they came out with a pump, so. I'm just going to place this all over the skin. And for my foundation today, I'm going to be using the NAR Sheer Glow. I wish I have a pump on this, but I don't. I'm just gonna use it as little as I need. And I'm gonna use the Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques. Now, because I still have my dark under eyes and the makeup, I feel like I'm in a Tim Burton movie. <laughs> I 
This is the Shu Uemura hard pencil. I won't set my brows until at the end when I've already powdered my face and everything. So for my concealer, I'm going to go in my Prep and Prime Bright Forecast. I keep forgetting. And I'm going to go right in here. Make sure I get right in here. Because that's where all that purpliness that we have in our natural under eyes. It's really important to really get all the purple and redness from underneath our eyes eliminated before we put in some purpley colors. Just because you don't want it to be like, you know, Tim Burton type of movie kind of look. Unless that's what you're going for. <laughs> Do the same thing I did on the top and mimic it on the bottom. Now if you don't have, if you have pretty much the same amount of eye shape as me where I feel like on the bottom I have that puffy thing and you don't want to accentuate it, you can go a little bit thinner. So purple on the outside. I'm gonna use that dark matte color, Indian ink, to blend that out. Is the white. And you know, we might have went a little down too much, so I'm just gonna use my concealer brush to kind of push that color back up. And then now what I'm gonna do is use a black pencil. This is the Infallible by L'Oreal. And I'm gonna tight line. I'm gonna do that all the way across. So, using my concealer brush, I'm gonna pull down my skin a little. And using that pencil we used earlier, kind of smudge it out. Use another pencil brush. I'm gonna go in with something a little brighter. So of course, when you want something bright, you use the nylon. I'm gonna pack that onto my brush, and then lean back. Gotta raise my brows a little. Let's finish the skin before we go back. So, um, let's see. Bronze up my face a little bit just because the eyes are kind of dramatic. And I'm gonna use this, which is the um, Mineral Eye Skin Finish by MAC in the color Dark Tan. sure if I want to put eyeliner so I'm gonna just go ahead and curl my lashes put on some mascara that way I can expose some of the bottom um, liner and then I can put on some liner to tight line. I make the funniest faces, but I was thinking like, don't we all? I think I'm gonna go with something a little, I want a little bit of red in there. So um, I use Lust by 
Rock and Republic. I put it on my CQ brush. And I'm using this new Maybelline one. I kind of like it. Don't know. I have, I've only used it. I've only used it twice, so I'll let you guys know once I've used it a lot more times. So this is number one hundred three, and this is the YSL. I'm going to tame it down a little bit with this, which is my concealer. So it's kind of just like red coming from the inside. What do you guys think? I kind of like purple. I kind of like the fact that I didn't. I didn't wear lashes. This is the end result. I hope you guys like it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!